I'm Nisi Nash Betts. Shout out to Great Team News. So this is something we already covered, but we're going to cover it a little bit more because uh, WAC 100 talks about it himself, okay? WAC 100 talks about it himself. Let's get into it, all right? This is just a follow-up. This is just a just to let you guys know the situation that's going on with Krishan right now. She has been officially released from L.A. County, right? But she has not been let out of the jail because Oklahoma has a hold on her and they have a 30 to 45 day hold on her. Okay. So in that time frame, Oklahoma uh, has the right to come pick her up and she has to pay restitution uh, because they, she has to pay them back for picking her up. Okay. Going out of their way to pick her up. Okay. So shout out to Circus of Blues for the post. It says Krishan is currently on hold to be picked up by Oklahoma and her paperwork uh, the state is asking the judge to revoke her probation uh, and or keep her in Oklahoma for the remainder of her uh, sentence until 2027. So worst case scenario, she has to spend the rest of her time in jail in 2027. Right. Uh, best case scenario, she's going to have to stay in uh, Oklahoma for the remainder of her probation. So she's still going to be out of jail, but she's going to have to uh, spend her probation out of it. Uh, out there that's what it's looking like now i guess there's a probability she'll be able to serve her probation in la um but we don't know it's just not looking good for her okay it's just not looking good for her right now okay it says they also stated that they will uh pay for her to be transported from la to oklahoma and she will have to pay them back in restitution for people saying that uh they won't waste the money to transport her yeah that's that's cap um, so this is from, um, obviously you can see that Oklahoma has a hold on her. Okay. Okay. I ain't gonna hold you. Oklahoma is though. I ain't gonna hold you. Oklahoma is though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And it says no action appears to be taken, uh, to date on, uh, the June, 2023 violation report based on the information compiled. It appears that Malone's behavior is escalating. I told you she was getting worse not better. She's a mother. She was doing good. I saw some change until she went back to, no, no, she's been the same person. She's actually worse now. Anyways, uh, Malone's behavior is escalating, concerning, and poses a risk to the community. It is still requested that an application to uh, accelerate filing a uh, warrant be issued and Malone answer for her actions. It is respectfully requested that she remain in Oklahoma until completion of any form of probation and or revoked for a time deemed appropriate by the court. Krishan Malone is obligated to return to Oklahoma to address her non-compliances per the ICAOS federal requirements. Therefore, it is further requested that Malone be ordered to pay restitution in the amount of transportation cost to be returned to Oklahoma to the appropriate transport transporting agency. Okay. So basically, long story short, Oklahoma's not playing with her. They're just not. Okay. Okay. Yeah, babies don't change people. Okay. Babies don't change people. Yeah, she's definitely worse now. Okay. Okay. You said um, when she's officially free, she'll be back on social media, popping her ish instead of taking care of Julian. I agree. I agree. I think the probability is low since she has proven to be a flight risk. Yeah, yeah. They're not playing with her. They're not playing with her. So uh, this is a uh, whack 100. Okay. This is WAC 100. Recently, y'all, this was just last night. This is WAC 100 talking about Christian Rock's situation, Oklahoma. Uh, I mean, he, he has a lot to talk about, okay? He actually talks about the whole DNA test situation too, okay? So we go put this back up, all right? All right? We go put this back up, and we go get into it, all right? Fair use. Like the video, you guys. Let's go. I gotta do this, do that. Hey, yo, Wack, what's up with that Chris Charles Wack shit, Wack? I was gonna ask you, oh, man. No, bro, that, it, it, that ain't my client. No, bro, bro. that's what's going on with I you. Told I told her stop. I told her stop coming to court and then going live. I told her, I'm like, yo, what you, you just don't want me here. 
so it looks like I'm not supporting Blue. All right, baby, you got it. Uh, yeah, that that that's a whole crazy situation. They try to tie you in that shit. I'm like, whack ain't got nothing to do with that. In the what? What you mean, bro? The police that went to the house ten times. They just can't kick in the door because they don't know if she in there. Heck. You at the courtroom going live on the run from three agencies. Oh, this where she be? When the next time we go to court? You see they snatched the bitch before the security. Like, I told her. Right. I'm telling you. So he basically addressing the fact that people saying that, you know, he set her up. You know, a lot of people were saying that, right? Obviously, a lot of people is the is the slow tars, the Chris animals, the unstable creatures. The house full of women, cuz. House full of sensitive ass females dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word for y'all. Yeah, they 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 claiming that Wack One Hundred set her up to get uh arrested, even though he was the one telling her not to go. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. All right. I said, yo, not only you coming, you're going live. She said Oklahoma can't fly out here in enough time. You got to remember, she thirteen in the head. I'm like, yo. They don't need to. L.A. is here. They arrest you and hold you like they doing right now. They got 45 days to extradite you. Take care of it while you free. Pay an attorney to go down there and tackle it. <clears throat> she didn't want to do it. She, she wanted you to give it a blue face treatment. Not my client, bro. So she didn't know she had a worn out that she was looking yeah, like she knew. She knew. But in her head, how is Oklahoma going to get here in time enough when I go live? Hey, she that, fucking she that slow man. In head. How you going to love yourself? Hey, bro, y'all hey, done seen this girl a million times talk. Y'all know she that slow. The conversation goes like this with her. Yo, I'm just saying, the fuck? But bro, like, whatever. You got that. Hey, if they, fuck, fuck you want if they ain't released, if she ain't, they ain't come get her in 74 hours, they supposed to release her, though. No, they not, bro. What kind of convict is you? What you mean, They bro? got 44 in a wake-up to extradite in any state. That's a fact. And that's after she serves her time in this state. The judge gave her 30 days. So they so the 44 in the wake up don't start until the hold is active. The hold ain't active until the hold is clear in LA. When LA say her time is up with us, they got 44 in the wake up to come get you. They got 72 hours to arraign you. How much time you did, homie? Yeah, she ain't no probation. They got 44 on the way to come get you. Yo, they gonna so fill the plane up. Situation. When she got locked up, that's because she uh beat up on uh Tamar uh 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 uh, 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 uh That's stop. the last warrant. That's the last warrant. Okay. And then Oklahoma been having an active warrant for seven months. No bail probation violation. Oh damn. She had one in Baltimore and in Arizona. I remember Arizona the Oklahoma one, whack, because you and Reek did a room on that one. I'm yeah, she got a, you know, like, <clears throat> so she had an L.A. case, yeah. and she had the Oklahoma case. And probation can wait 90 days to even come looking. No, they got it. They, no, wait. That's once she get to Oklahoma. You're right. <clears throat> they got an extra day 44 in the wake up. On that 45th day, they don't come get her. They'll let her go and tell them, y'all got to get out. You're going to get her. We ain't holding her no more. Man, that ain't happening. No, they're going to come get her because she went live and told the DA to suck her dick and said the judge is a bitch. They mad down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they going to slay her ass. 
Right. They're going to make her an example. <laughs> temper, temper, boy. I told the bitch the last time, yo, why is you lie? Why are you here? You just wanted to make it look like I'm not supporting Blue. Bitch, he just started fucking with you two days before he turned himself in. You are, bitch, you got born. Bro. Like, he should be telling you not to be here. That's a fact. Well, I can't. What we talking about right now? All right, you got it. I said you got it. It ain't even my place to address you. You right? Who has the baby? I don't know. That ain't my business. Ain't my baby. We don't. We don't even know if it's his baby. So shit. That's why he ain't tripping like that. Damn. Standing on business. I don't. I, we don't even know if it's his baby. We don't even know if it's his baby. Okay. Shout out to the Detroit Soloists. I, I, I appreciate that so much. I support Greg. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. You are appreciated. You are appreciated. Shout out to Sage. I appreciate you. Yes, great T gang. Grape always coming with the receipts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are appreciated. You are appreciated. Y'all know I love my great tea gang. Thank you so much. So shout out to Sage and shout out to Detroit Soloist. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, ladies. I support great. Thank you so much. But yeah, they like she, she even uh want to know where Junior at. But Wax standing on business, like, man, I don't know. They ain't, they ain't none of my business. I don't even think, I don't even think it's his baby. Uh-oh. Uh oh! <laughs> wow. Uh, say it with your chest, whack. Say it with your chest. Jeez. That's a fact. Whack it. What we talked about right now. All right, you got it. I said you got it. It ain't even my place to address you. You right? Who has the baby? I don't know. That ain't my business. Ain't my baby. We don't. We don't even know if it's his baby, so shit, that's why he ain't tripping like that. Damn. Hey, what? We did a TNA test yet. I heard when you said in the video that he told her ass don't even come to the court. Hey, bro. Listen, bro, I don't, I don't concern my, y'all remember, we found the girl homeless and barefooted, bro. So whatever y'all see, y'all see, I just see whatever, you know, I don't know what that is, so. The fuck would I concern myself with rock? That ain't my business. Unless Blueface hit me and say, uh, could you do me a solid? That's not my business. Man. I don't concern myself with a nigga's bitch. You out of line for that. That's real. Like, what the fuck you? I get to overly doing some shit. Damn, what, what you doing? You want to fuck this bitch? What you doing? That ain't my business. That's a fact. I know you told her one time, get the fuck out the house, and she ain't want to get the fuck out the house. Yeah, nigga, I Last come time. to my crib. That's the crib me and Blue brought. We was, it was a film house. Like a little media house. Nigga, I get this five police cars in the driveway. I'm like, hey, fuck going on? I walk in the house. Our media team, the people we flew out there to live in the house to film the shit. I'm like, where y'all going? She, she told the police we trespassed. Who told the police? Hold on, they work for us. They supposed to be here by contract. What are you talking about? She she don't live here. That ain't what she don't live here. She can't tell show you nothing. The ID, no mail, no nothing. The fuck you gonna let somebody tell us tell you who to put out our house? What you talking about? Crazy shit, bro. Like yo, like and then she tried to send niggas to jail. That's when I really stopped fucking with it. Y'all remember when the bitch was like I got clothes here I can show y'all. Oh, yeah, I remember Nigga. that. I remember. Now you see why. That's why y'all always just got to hear me out. Just we slow roll these shows, guys. So I showed y'all that footage for a reason because it leads back into tonight or last night show uh, Clubhouse where WAC 100 talks about it. Okay. So we, we, we reviewed the whole footage of her um, not leaving the house. Um, claiming that she lived there and stuff like that. Now, Wack 100 is giving his side of the story, okay? 
Let's go. Remember that? She took that, the man. police to three closets. <clears throat> That's a fact. That's a fact. Three days prior, I got a gut feeling to clean up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Every closet she opened up, she thought it was going to be that. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at this bitch like, oh, bitch, you really was finna send niggas to jail. She like, look, they got my clothes. She know that's what niggas kept it. You know what I'm saying? But I cleaned up three days prior. Some told me, whack, move everything. Us, every closet the bitch opened up would have gave a nigga 10 years. They said, ma'am, there's no clothes. You don't know where your clothes is at? She wasn't trying to show them clothes. She was trying to show them something else. Cause she know I told you, I told you, snitch. So it was other things, I guess you could say allegedly illegal, okay? Things that would have implicated Blueface and WAC 100, okay? That's why she was looking through all them drawers like that. Ain't no, she ain't got that much clothes. She told me she was homeless anyway. It's coming from uh from uh Baltimore. Blueface said she just came with a backpack. Now you got a, a three closets and all these drawers full of clothes. No, that's not what happened. Okay, apparently she know what was in those drawers and in those closets, and it was stuff that would have implicated Blueface and Whack. So since Blueface and Whack, I guess at that moment they didn't want nothing to do with her, right? They didn't want nothing to do with her, right? Get up out of here. Oh no, no, no. I'm gonna show you. No, it was here. No, I have some stuff here. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, try to get them in trouble. Shout out to the uh, Detroit Soloist again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. You are appreciated. Thank you so much. Down with grapes. Somebody match me, please. Yeah, I mean, that'd be dope. <laughs> Either way, man, I highly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Don't forget that. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. But thank you so much, Detroit Soloist. Yeah, but yeah, she she tried to get uh, whack and blue locked up, y'all. All right. I got clothes here I can show y'all. Oh, yeah, I remember Nigga, that. I remember that. Come on, she, she don't live here. That ain't what she don't live in film house. I could little media house. Nigga, I get this five police cars in the driveway. I'm like, hey, fuck going on? I walk in the house. Our media team, the people we flew out there to live in the house to film the shit. I'm like, where y'all going? She, she told the police we trespassed. Who told the police? Hold on, they work for us. They supposed to be here by contract. What are you talking about? She she don't live here. That ain't what she don't live here. She can't tell, show you nothing. The ID, no mail, no nothing. The fuck you gonna let somebody tell us tell you who to put out our house? What you talking about? Crazy shit, bro. Like no, like and then she tried to send niggas to jail. That's when I really stopped fucking with it. Y'all remember when the bitch was like I got clothes here I can show y'all. Oh, yeah, I remember Nigga, that. I remember that. She remember took that, them right? police to three closets. <clears throat> That's a fact. That's a fact. Three days prior, I got a gut feeling to clean up. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Every closet she opened up, she thought it was going to be that. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at this bitch like, oh, bitch, you really was finna send niggas to jail. She like, look, they got my clothes. She know that's what niggas kept it, you know what I'm saying? But I cleaned up three days prior. Some told me, whack, move everything. Us, every closet the bitch opened up would have gave a nigga 10 years. They said, ma'am, there's no clothes. You don't know where your clothes is at? She wasn't trying to show them clothes. She was trying to show them something else. Because she know in the house with our name. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, you know. That's his thing. That's his thing. I don't fuck with that. Uh, nah, bro. I, I ain't gave the baby a box of diapers yet. That's a fact. <laughs> hey, that, now that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gave the baby no diapers, man. That's crazy. Bro, I don't, I don't, you know, nephew you don't even know if that's his kid. The baby's innocent still, though. If it's kid or not, you supposed to still do that one time. Right. <laughs> Man, do what? I don't I don't fuck with strangers like that, bro. That ain't my thing. Buy them shit. <laughs> then what if it is his kid? How you gonna feel then? Right. If it's his kid, then we move accordingly. But as of right now, right, until the, look, 
It's the only one reason why a bitch would deny blood tests. No, I was just about to ask you, but they never did a DNA? No, every time we went to do it, that's, she refused to let a nigga do it. <clears throat> yeah, I heard she she kept lying and saying uh, that she she believed that that's his kid and she didn't want to do the DNA test. But I was like, that's cat. Because, man, it, when a woman knows it's your kid, they like, nigga, let's go. Yep. Can't wait to make you look right. stupid. You know, I'm like, yo, get the cash. Like, we don't know. Like, and she was fucking around, whack. She was fucking around. She was fucking 10 niggas, no exaggeration. He knew that. He knew that. Yeah. (laughs) Whack ain't lying. Oh, girl. He like, yo, he was fucking 10 niggas. Like, like, shit. So we like, yo, let's get the DNA so niggas know what it is. Damn, like, that's crazy. And she didn't want to get the DNA test. No, denied it, bro. She wouldn't even have a go to take the baby to the doctor in California. Yeah. But yo, what? She wouldn't that's even right. take the baby to a real doctor. She didn't even have a baby at a real hospital because oh. she knew they was going to book her. Oh, that's... That baby was born with shit in the system. She oh. went to a private room. Oh, that's crazy. And then didn't put the nigga. That's a great point. I never thought about that because remember, Blueface said he showed her. Um, Blueface revealed her text messages, and she said that she was literally smoking the day she had that baby. She was nervous. Her water broke, and she and she was still smoking and drinking, y'all. And Wax saying that she would have went to jail instantly. Okay. Because they would have found something in that baby system. Wow. Wow. That is so crazy. I, I didn't even think about that. I forgot all about that, y'all. Wow. I did not think about that. That makes so much sense. I didn't think about that. That's crazy. At a real hospital, because oh. she knew they was. She was fucking around, whack. She was. Nigga, fucking she was around fucking ten niggas. No exaggeration. He knew that. Shenanigans. <laughs> no, like. And she was fucking around, whack. She was. Nigga, fucking she was fucking ten niggas. niggas. No exaggeration. He knew that. <laughs> he knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Whack ain't lying. Oh, girl. Yeah, like, he like, yo, he was fucking 10 niggas. Like, yo, like, shit. So we like, yo, let's get the DNA so niggas know what it is. Damn, Whack, that's crazy. And she didn't want to get the DNA test. No, denied it, bro. She wouldn't even have a go to take the baby to the doctor in California. But yo, what? she wouldn't That's even right. take the baby to a real doctor. She didn't even have a baby at a real hospital because oh. she knew they was going to book her. Oh, That's... that baby was born with shit in the system. She oh. went to a private room. Oh, that's crazy. And then didn't put the nigga name on the birth certificate. So he didn't have a right to take the baby into a doctor. Wow. Real shit, bro. Wow. Ain't whack. But if I'm not mistaken, then you and Rick get a room about her lining, uh, try to line proof things up, right? Yeah, I dropped all the text messages. Yeah, I remember I that shit. Rob. I mean, that's his, that's his business. Nigga. My, I, my women is my women, bro. Yeah, I know. Bruh, I'm telling you, he just dropped all the tea. Yes. She tried to set him up, too. Right? He tried to set him up too, so like, man, that makes so much sense. I I, I swear I didn't even think about that, y'all. I, I I I swear I never thought about the situation where her, um, drinking and smoking, literally, you know, right before she had the baby. So yeah, the baby would have had it in a wow, wow, man, this is crazy, y'all. Um. Yeah, premeditated. Yep. 
Yep. Man. Yeah, she tried to set him up, though. Yep, she tried to set Blueface up, and he still... And she blamed it on uh, Tzatziki. She blamed it on Tzatziki. She said Tzatziki tried to uh, set him up. And y'all know they gang affiliated, so that puts Tzatziki life at danger. You know? You know, like, why would you put your sister in danger like that? Uh, off a lie, off of something that you were doing. She only cares about herself, y'all. She don't care about this, baby. She don't care about this, baby. You know? And hopefully what uh, Captain Felix is saying is true. She's saying that the baby is taken care of. The baby's not with CPS and the baby's not with Marsh. Okay? She's saying that the baby has been seen by a doctor and he's being taken care of. We're really hoping that. We're really hoping that's true. We're really hoping that's true. Okay? Man. Man, I'm t man, whack dropping that tea. Because um they did uh say that uh blues did say that she was linked to 10 other dudes, you know, during the time that he was messing with her. So that's why he's so against, you know, being the baby's father. She claimed that it was only three to four. She said that herself. She said that herself on live. Okay. Woo. <laughs> 